What's up guys? Just in my house because a lot of the gyms are still closed. Gonna be doing a at home workout today for you guys. Basically what I'm gonna be putting you guys through is 15 minutes working every minute for 40 seconds, resting for 20 seconds. You can make this a 30 minute workout if you wanna do it twice. I recommend if you're just a beginner. 15 minutes at home, you're gonna be sweating. These movements are designed to test your cardiovascular system and also muscle endurance. So muscular endurance, what I'm talking about that is we're not, we're not gonna be really pushing any strength boundaries here, meaning we're not doing six to eight reps of things. We're doing 40 seconds of work. In that 40 seconds, you're gonna probably get anywhere between 20 and 30 reps. So that's higher repetitions. That's gonna increase our heart rate up. It's gonna be driving all sorts of, the muscles we're using are, are working, but it's gonna be more of endurance. So this is gonna be one of those cardio type workouts that again, we're doing at home because we can't get to the gym. This is better than doing nothing. And also it's always good to work some cardiovascular components, keep that heart healthy. So only thing really you're gonna need is a chair, you know, a stool, a little bench, anything that's gonna elevate you off the ground, one and a half, one to two feet, really. Um, also, get your water, and then, if you can, I just have a Tabata. Basically, it's gonna keep track. That way, I'm working for, for 40 seconds and resting for 20 seconds. So that way, I know exactly how long I need to be working for, and I'm not staring at the clock, because you don't wanna be just staring at your phone. So if you can, just download. There's tons of free Tabata stuff that you can download to make sure that you are staying on top of your rest time. So basically, we got 15 rounds. One minute work, 40 of that is work, 20 of that is rest. I think I said that right at the beginning. We'll find out. You know what, and I got my whole collection on. I, I love seeing people tagging me in their post. I was gonna go with that white hat, but I'm gonna end up sweating through that white hat real soon if I don't give it a break here and there. So I'm actually gonna go with my camo headband. I haven't got a haircut or shaved my beard since pretty much being quarantined. So I'm, I'm, I'm imagining there's gonna be people that are cutting their own hair and just not shaving. I, I'm kinda just gonna let this Unabomber look go. A lot of Netflix, a lot of not shaving, a lot of just being at home as is. So, all right, before we get this going, I also have a mat here. I'm just gonna warm up. So how I warm up, you know, a lot of these exercises we're gonna be doing are actually, could be considered warm ups. You know, some of the things I do in warm ups, like jumping jacks and things like that. But when I'm warming up, I just kinda wanna get loose, side to side hops. Give me five of those. Front to back, warming up our legs. This is a full body workout, guys. This is full body here, so we're gonna be warming up each muscle group here. We'll get some arm rotations here. Smaller, get to bigger. And since a lot of these movements that we're gonna be doing could be considered warm up movements if you were in the gym getting ready to do real deal big lifts, I'm not gonna spend too much time warming up, but it's important just to get your core body temperature raised a little bit so we're not just cold jumping into it. Do a couple of squats here. So like I said, this workout is gonna consist of 15 movements. Get some butt kickers here. Stretch out those hamstrings. So if you guys can't do the movement for all 40 seconds, that's okay. Do what you can. A lot of these can be modified. You can shorten up the range of motion if you need to. The ideal scenario is working full 40 seconds, full range of motion for each and every body part, each and every exercise. First thing we gonna be doing, frog squats. We're gonna get our timer set up here. Frog squats, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. I got a 10 second countdown, a little bit wider. A lot of these movements I do with Biggest Loser people, so I know you guys can do them at home there too. Elbows on inside of the knees. This is a movement in pretty much Creator of Zoo came up with. I love them because they get your glutes and quads burning. So we're just gonna go all the way down. I even drop it a little bit lower than 90, and then I come up as high as I can. Good. Good, here we go. Good. 
pushing out on those knees with your elbows. Come on now. Get down all the way up. First movement here in the day, we're starting it off with a leg burner. That's 40 seconds there. 20 seconds rest. We're going from a leg movement to an ab movement. We're gonna be going with plank. Good plank position. We're gonna be set up. I'm gonna go on my hands. You guys can go for a plank position. You can either go here or go here. And we're starting right now. So I'm going on my hands and I'm just gonna do the advanced version of these, which is gonna be shoulder taps. I don't wanna see any of this side to side stuff, keeping that core brace. If at any time you feel like you're losing control, you can just be right here. Another variation you can do, walk it up, walk it down. You can either walk it up, shoulder plank. Like, like me, I hate moving, or I, I hate staying still, so I need to be moving constantly. So I'm just gonna be right here. Again, keeping the core nice and tight. Butt cheeks aren't up here, squeeze together. Working, four, three, two, one, good work. Should be definitely uh, breathing a little bit harder now. <sighs> Next up, what well, we got are speed skaters. If I could get this thing to work right. Speed skaters. Basically what we're gonna be doing, side to side jumps. So find an area that you can be at least right here. <sighs> so three, two, one, side to side. Let's go now. Collect yourself and go. Stay low, I don't want you to see you guys up here. Nice and low, side to side. Again, this whole workout designed to keep that heart rate up. Keep moving, collect yourself, go. Collect yourself, go. We're working on de decelerating. Keep moving. Four, three, two, last one. Good, 20 seconds rest here. Maybe get a little drink of water. Uh, whew. Uh, next up, inchworms. It's gonna be a good hamstring stretch. We inchworm into a plank position and then come back up. So I'm gonna be here, walk it out all the way. Plank position, walk it up. Inch our way back to the starting position. Walk it out. Plank position, walk it back up, walk it back up. This is something you guys could do while you're watching TV, listening to a podcast, just get moving. All this corona, self-distancing, quarantine, self-isolation, if you're not working out, if you're not moving, it's a lot easier to get depressed, start feeling down, get moving. Time. Again, you guys can hear my breathing. That heart rate, probably right, uh, right around 100 right now. So it's not crazy, crazy high. I wouldn't consider this hit cardio, but all the same, we're doing great things for our body, doing great things for our metabolism right now. Next up, we got leg lifts on our back. We're gonna be right here, 12 inches off the ground. I put my hands underneath my glutes, and I'm just gonna alternate. Again, I hate staying still, but you can just stay right here if you need to. This actually makes it, I think, a little bit harder. This, to me, is a little bit easier. You can go over the top if you want as well, keeping those legs nice and straight, keeping the abs nice and tight. We're working the core here. Maybe go back and forth. Hold for 10, work for 10. We got 10 seconds left. I'm just gonna keep holding it here, trying to breathe, stay in it, keep working, keep working time. Woo! By now you guys maybe are sweating a little bit. I know I am. All right, next up, we're going from on our back to just a good old push-up here. We got 40 seconds of push-ups. I would say if you can, start out in this nice push-up position, lower yourself down and back up. Do as many as you can here. If you can't do those, you're on your knees right here. You can do that. If at any minute you need a break, shake out those arms, but keep moving. Let's go back to these. Maybe if you wanna switch and go a little bit closer, diamond push-ups gonna be working more triceps. Wider is gonna be working a little bit more 
anterior delt, really stretching that chest. Come on, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. It's a lot of chest and a lot of tricep there. A little bit of anterior delt when you go wider like that. Don't feel bad if you need to modify these in any way. You're here, that's what matters. Woo, all right. Next is up squat jumps. All that blood's in our upper body. We're now getting that squat position. All I wanna see, some air under those feet of yours. 90, 90, 90 degrees at the bottom, all the way up, good. These are really gonna get our heart rate up. Nice, keep it going. Burn in the legs, let it burn. Welcome that pain, that pain's growth. Let's go, keep it moving. Breathe, breathe, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake those bad boys out. 40 seconds of jump squats, no joke. All right, on our back, glute bridge. Just worked our quads, our glutes. Now it's time to focus in hamstrings and some more booty. Hips go to the ceiling, all the way down, all the way up. This is that recovery right now, but it's not a rest. It's an active recovery. If you want one leg, Really focus in on that contraction at the top. Squeeze, squeeze. Seven more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. We're already into this eight minutes let's go a little over halfway there next up we're going to be side plank we're going to set that up stacking our elbow shoulder in one line legs and then you see my hip is off the ground my legs are stacked we got 20 seconds here and then we're going to flip 20 seconds on the other side biggest thing here is i don't want this drooping nice and tight right here working our core legs are stacked if you can't go stack legs just one out in front of the other. Two seconds here. We're switching that other side. Good, let's work now. Only 20 seconds each side here. A little bit of balance coming into play as well. You're tired, you're breathing hard, using those little muscles to stabilize. And time. As you can see, we're working our core, working our chest, working our arms, the push-ups, the glutes, the hamstrings. Again, our, our mission here isn't to be building tons and tons of muscle. We're not gonna be doing that. The only resistance we really have is our body weight. For some people, that'll be enough. For other people, this is primarily cardio, muscular endurance. All right, here we go. Just a nice, good old-fashioned jumping jack. Take you back to gym class. Feet go out, hands go up. Again, this is just designed. Flush out some of that lactic acid. Get our heart rate up. Five, four, three, two, last one. Whew. Feels good. I like those little active recovery ones there. Still working. My heart's still going, but not really any muscular endurance going on there. Five seconds and we're into gorillas. Gorillas, 90 degrees. We're gonna turn, come down, touch the knee. This is the starting position. Turn, touch the knee. So it's almost like a lunge. We stay down the, constantly. We stay down the entire time. So it's almost like a wall squat. Feet always pointing forward. Boom, turn. Good. These ones will get you quads. If you want to get more hamstrings, 
Feet go a little bit wider. Here, press back through. Good. Five. Four. Two. You can see there's a lot of blood in the quads right now. Next up is where this chair is gonna come in. It can be a chair, it can be a couch, whatever. We got dips. Beginning position is gonna be like this. If you're stronger, feet go straight out, trying to hit 90 degrees all the way down, all the way up. I know this workout's doable because I'm talking to you guys the whole time while I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm getting a little short of breath. Might have to come in here for a few and then go back out. <sighs> These are a burner. Triceps are already kind of tired. Keep it going. Keep it going. Maybe walk yourself back here. Help, your, help it out with your legs. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh! Those burn. Get those triceps involved. Next one's gonna be brutal, I'm not gonna lie. Give yourself about 10 feet, forward or backwards. Bear crawl. Bear crawl and reverse bear crawl. Three, two, one, good, right here. Just come up, touch, come back. We're working our shoulders, we're working our legs, working our glutes, and it's hard to breathe in this bent over position. Come on, keep it going. Just keep moving in this one. Keep moving. It's gonna be hard to breathe. We're working our lats as we push back there. Pushing right here. Boom, boom. Feeling that stretch in the lats. 10 more seconds. Keep it working. You can do this, two, one. Ooh. Oh, gotta love those. 15 seconds left here and the rest. And we got step ups. Step ups or chair taps. You guys decide. Tap, it's gonna be here. Step up, here. I'm gonna do half and half here. Let's go, let's go to work. Make sure you're stepping all the way up. Engage those glutes. All right, last little bit here. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging. Gonna get you breathing real, real hard here. Let's go, keep it up. Big legs and the muscles are our primary mover here with our glutes. Time, Whew. just nonstop. That 15 seconds shows up on the clock real quick. <sighs> Last thing we got, cool it down. Work our posterior chain. It's gonna be Superman's. Find yourself a spot on the floor. We're gonna be right here. Gonna move this to the side. Face down, flexing my glutes, hamstrings, shoulders. Come up, back down. This is really working our spinal erectors. Working on shoulder mobility here. A nice cool down. Last one. Good work. Woo. You guys have made it. One complete round, that was 15 minutes right there. We went by pretty quick. From there, come onto your mat. You can go through your cool down by getting some good stretches, working our hamstrings, stretching them out. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, you can do that as well. Lower back, stay here for 20 seconds. Go through your different stretches, stretching the quad. I know there's tons of stretching videos out there. I like to follow one called Ramwad. I've been following them for a long time. I have tight hips, so I love getting in these positions 
and really forcing myself to do them. But if you guys wanted to give that another round later on today, definitely feel free to do so. Let me know what you guys want to see next time. Maybe I'll just go around the house, grabbing random things and making a workout out of it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.